One of these old days, yeah. One of these old days, it'll all be over. Mm-hmm. It'll all be over. It'll all be over. And we won't have to cry no more. And we won't have to cry. Shalom, shalom. All right. All praises be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechaha, Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, which are worthy of such. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers enduring afflictions, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, doing his work in truth, sincerity, and always in charity, as well as the believers, uh, the men, women, and children that are listening and learning. May the grace and the peace of our Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahweh be with you all. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Barakatum. All right, this is uh, <clears throat> the brother Malaaki from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch out in Des Moines, uh, Des Moines, Iowa, with another lesson uh, in the Spirit. Okay, this is St. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. All right. Ultimately, we understand when we come into this truth, it says that he that departed from sin maketh himself a prey. Matter of fact, let me grab that. And I want to grab it in um, in the blue letter. So like, let me put this on real quick. Hopefully y'all brothers can hear me. Um, well, right. It says. Uh, yep. Yep. Is that. OK, let me see. Yep, Isaiah 59 and 15. And I'm going to grab it in the blue letter. All right. Isaiah 59 and verse 15. And it reads, Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord Yahweh saw, and the Lord Yahweh saw it, and it displeased them that there was no judgment. All right. So it says that he that departed from evil make it themselves a prey. Well, the scriptures tell us that if you call upon the name of Yahweh, Shai, you have to flee from sin. Right. You have to stop sinning. You know, let the let the wicked man forsake his ways. Right. So when you come into this truth, when you try to sincerely serve the Lord, uh, you stop doing certain things that you were doing in the world. Right. The scripture also says that. Uh, that uh, 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 basically what 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 had we in that time, you know, roughly paraphrasing that uh, uh, it, it, when we were without Yahweh Shai, that uh, those things that we did were now ashamed of. Why are we ashamed of it? Because we understand that we were walking in the wrong way. We were walking in the congregation of the dead, <clears throat> right? So when um, let's go into this word here, pray. All right. Maketh himself a prey. Uh, let's see, it says to draw out, to plunder, to take spoil, to be spoiled, to be plundered, to make self a prey. Okay. Let's, uh, All right, Salahia. Let's try, um, let's go into the different translations, right? Cross-references. They're not cross-references. I'm tripping. Bible comparison. Uh, there was no justice. Makes himself a prey. You know, so basically you're, uh, uh, you're more vulnerable to attacks when you come into this truth. And uh, there was a brother, um, 
I believe it was uh, the the big brother uh, Amawan Gabar. I believe he was going into it. And when you go into the word, man, I gotta go back and watch that lesson because I I was just listening to it and I didn't take uh, take the note down. But uh, when you go into that word, it's basically um, it's like we become a, 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 um, something that people can mock. You know, they make fun of us. They think that we're crazy. All right. I forgot how he uh, how he got to there. <clears throat> Maybe here. Let's see. Spoil sometimes follows the uh, verbs. Hmm. And forgive me, brothers, Bob Kusha. Mm. Yeah, look look here. It says an animal hunted for food, that which is seized by a carnivorous animal ready to be devoured. The scripture says that what? That uh that our adversary, Satan, goeth about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. You know, and how does he do that? He does it through people, he does it through certain uh situations, right? We read the book of Job. You know, so ultimately when we stop doing these things, um we become we become susceptible, you know, we're, we're basically like a deer in the headlights, but we have the spirit of our Lord within us, you know, so we're covered. But ultimately, uh, right, when you go into it, it's, uh, you know, basically uh, people will mock you, you know. So let's go back here. It says, St. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 10, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile and revile you and persecute you, right? And it says it says that are, are, are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for the sake of this truth, you know, for the sake of being out there preaching, teaching, abstaining from certain things, you know. Because for the younger brothers that are coming in, hey, these things will happen, you know. They're bound to happen. Some brothers it might take a little longer. For some brothers, it's right off the bat. You know, your family might come against you. Your woman will come against you. Anything that's contrary uh, 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 to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah will come against you. That's why it says that. Uh, yep. St. John chapter 7 and verse. And verse 7. It says the world cannot hate you. But it hate. But me it hateth. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Okay, so ultimately this world and everything within it. Well, let me let me let me say this: the world and the people that are living according to this world, they hate Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. They hate the order, the structure that's set up, the instruction. All right. Therefore, when they see you doing these things, when they see you walking in the, in the path of righteousness, when they see that wisdom on you, when they see that you're doing your absolute best to strive and to please the Lord, they come against you. But just like Yahweh Shah said, it, it said it is not you. Yeah, you know, it, it says uh, it is not you that they hate. They hate me and they don't hate me. They hate him that sent me. So these people ultimately got, got a, a falling out with the Heavenly Father. All right? Why? Because it testified of the works that are of our evil. And we are set to do the same thing, to reprove these people, to teach them the ways of righteousness, to correct them. Right? It says what? It says, um, how is that worded? It says, uh, 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 um, lift, lift up the standard. All right? It says, uh, damn, what is going on? It says, Go show show the house of Jacob their uh, show Israel their sins and the house of Jacob their transgressions. Roughly paraphrasing, I don't know why I can't remember right now. It's bugged out, but you know. So ultimately, this place <laughs> they hate us, but they don't hate us. They hate the heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai, right? So it says, "Blessed are ye." It says, "Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake," right? Because these people don't understand the ways of righteousness. They don't understand the cost that it takes, the commitment, the sacrifice that it takes. To what? To be a shepherd over the flock. To be in the office of, the, uh, of a priest. 
you know, because the Lord has called us into this priesthood. He's called us and entrusted us with the ministry and they don't understand. And they don't see the benefit within what we are doing. They don't see the benefit of brothers fasting, of brothers not going to events, social gatherings, of brothers not spending as much time with their families, with their children. And therefore, the persecution will come. All right. And, and, and that's part of the suffering. That's part of carrying our cross. Yeah, I wish I said you cannot be my disciple if you don't carry your cross. You know. It also says what? But what? That uh, uh, no chastisement seems glor uh, joyous for the present time, but grievous. But it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Why? Because patient work at temperance, temperance, hope. You know, so on and so forth. So all these things are a necessity and pivotal uh, for growth within this truth. All right, it says, and, and with that comes persecution, right? It might be slander. It might just be verbal, vocal. And then it might start getting physical, man. You know, the, a, a look at the testimony of the, uh, 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 the elder Ariala down in Dallas. You know, people persecuting him and calling up his job, uh, uh, so on and so forth. You know, I, I don't remember the, the extent. You know, I, I've heard it a few times, but... You know, in, in, a, in a broad sense, you know, that, that, that elder, he had a, a really good job. And be, for righteousness sake, for out, being out there preaching a word, teaching, hey, he, you know, somebody called his job or something. And, and you know, he ended up losing that job. And hey, the Lord ended up blessing him more. <laughs> All right. Hey, it says that many are the afflictions that are righteous, but the Lord delivereth out of them all. Oh, not some of them. No, all. Oh, there ain't no losses within this truth. It says, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, for my sake. Right? It says, rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And what made me think and meditate and reflect upon this lesson that I'm doing right now is Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because he endured these things. And the scripture says, what? Verily, verily, uh, Salakia, Saint, <laughs> Saint John, um, I'll get this one, Saint John chapter 15 and verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Okay, and it's the same thing because, like I said, meditating and reflecting, yeah, how was I was being slandered, was being scoffed, was being ridiculed, humiliated since he was on the scene up until he was on the cross. And to this day, because they do it unto his prophets. But while Yahweh Shai was up there on that cross suffering, he still had scoffers. He still had scorners there, at, there while he was on the cross scoffing him. And if the Lord had to go through these things, hey, we're going to go through these things too. It says in the last days shall there arise scoffers and scorners, you know, so on and so forth. So these things are going to happen. And guess what? It, 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 it's not... It's not going to be sunshines and rainbows and butterflies and unicorns and kisses all, all damn day. No. The Lord at his lowest moment in his walk had to deal with scoffers, with people talking shit, with people ridiculing him, humiliating him while he was already down. So we're going to be kicked while we're down. So rock the second chapter. My son, if thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. But cleave on to him. So that's the same mindset that we have to have through it all in our ups and our downs, whether we're abasing, whether we're abounding, we remain in our integrity just like Job. Right? Job chapter 13 and verse 15, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. Right? 
So whether the Lord has us in, uh, going through whatever the, f the hell we're going through, we have to remain our integrity and trust in him. That's, that's, that's the, latter, the, the latter part of Sirach, the second chapter. Who hath called on him and who, 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 who do he despise? You know? Nobody, man. Nobody. Look at Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai got, man. And it says that if, if, if we suffer with our Lord, if we go through the things that are set for us to go through, then we're going to be joint heirs with him. So we're going to be scoffed, we're going to be scorned, we're going to be uh, ridiculed for righteousness sake. You know, make sure it's for righteousness sake. Don't let these people in the world, these, these niggas, these uh, 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 damn uh, uh, bitter baby mamas, what, whatever the case may be, don't let them have a reason to talk shit about you, but rather for righteousness sake. You know, I believe it says that uh, uh, about a bishop, that he must be blameless, you know, this and that. It gives characteristics, man, of how... Us and his truth should be walking and how nobody should be able to, 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 to have an accusation against us unless it's false. You know, not to give these people a reason, you know, but the only thing they could say is, is what all oh, you you don't care about us. You spend more time with brothers, with, with your brothers. Oh, you don't want to do this no more. You think you're too good. Hey, oh, that's for righteousness. Say, call hello. Yeah, about some y'all shy. Right. Oh, you, 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 uh, uh, you know, for brothers, oh, you, you, you're a piece of uh, uh, a piece of shit father because you don't, you don't, you don't spend more time with the child and this and that. But they don't understand the severity and the totality of what we're doing and the sacrifice that we're making that's going to profit us, right? The scriptures say that 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 what that through this, us and our household shall be saved, you know. So, but really, that was it, you know. I don't want to make it long and drawn out. I know I'm rambling a little bit, Salakia, but hey, with all that. You know, all praise, honor, and glory goes unto Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Rechah which gave me the spirit to do this lesson, you know. And uh, double honors, you know, to the apostles, others, a great millstone, and to all you brothers and you sisters, Shalom, Wa'ababa'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'ba'